Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Ruka from Honey Bunny Games and this is our second monorail. So it's a bit longer. I started doing it two episodes back, I think. And yeah, I was messing around off camera with the cabin and some um some of these ideas. I or maybe I did them on camera. Oh yeah, I did on camera, but I did make the dry train so I can go forward and backwards with the engines. But let's go into our uh, cabin, so I'm gonna close this thing up, and you can see I have the motor here, I'm gonna close this thing up, I have this small window here, but I'm gonna remove those guys, yeah, make it like this, oh yeah, uh, maybe like this, I'm not sure I like it, I'm gonna keep it like this, there we go, and uh, yeah, these guys are like, uh, I don't want them here. Oh, I can delete those two. Oh, but this one, yeah, I cannot delete this one. Okay, so this is even better. I have even more space than I actually thought I would have. Nice. I like it. Uh, now the only problem will be, well, it's not a problem, but I kind of wanted to hide the engine. Uh, now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I could like place it in a corner or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me go outside, and I'm gonna make a little step here, so I can go onto the roof, um, and place down this thing. We want a horn, right? Okay. I'm gonna take these two guys, place them on a button. Place the button, uh, I don't know, or... Or should I place the button like... Oh, no, no, not here. Uh, place the switch thing. Then place a button. Huh, I could do that. Okay. Uh, what about this guy? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like this. Okay, so I have this horn. Um, you know what? I think I like this uh, ideas with the wedge, so I could like have the switches the same way. Yeah, these these are going to be the the switches for the for the gates, not the gates for the for the doors. So I'm gonna have it like this. I think that's pretty darn cool. Um. Yeah, this is our main uh, switch. The wait a minute. Oh, the cat is snoring. <laughs> it's not so loud, but yeah, uh, this thing is not moving. But as you, as you can see, I have these two on the drivetrain, and these two are not connected. So basically, it spins uh, only one block. As soon as I connect the other engine in the other soon-to-be cockpit cabin. Uh, then it's gonna work completely fine. I wanted to have like some kind of windows and all that, but yeah, as you can see, that idea went to hell. Well, let me see what else could I do. I could have like maintenance hatch here for the uh, for the controllers because I'm gonna have a controller here for the I'm gonna place that for the doors. Uh, and I'm gonna have the other doors in this guy. It, and the controller for this hatch thing, yeah, so that's about it, I think, three controllers, the first one is for the, for these doors, so, yeah, let me see, I could make it, uh, I could make, I could make it look nice, ooh, no, not this guy, not this guy, um, but you know what, um, I'm gonna have it open, like this, I need a metal block. Okay, so we're gonna be here. Uh, I'm gonna have a switch. I'm gonna have a switch for that. Yeah, that that's that's gonna be useful. I have a switch for that. I know here and uh, I could have it like here ish. No, that's gonna interact with this thing. Uh, okay, so I definitely need it on the control panel. I have no idea where to place it. Um, 
What if I do something like this? Yeah, this would be fine. So this guy will open up negative 90. Yep. Gonna close it all the way up. Okay. We have this little switch thing. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Just not sure if I want it like this. Oh, boy, I didn't want to do it whole thing. Okay, there we go. I want something else below it. What about the eye beam? How long is the long eye beam? Is that four? That's four. That's gonna be excellent. It is. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I have room for one more controller and... Uh, room to make this thing below here beautiful. I'm obviously gonna use some cables. I mean, this is like a control thing, so... Makes sense, right? You know what, I'm just gonna go like this. There we go. This thing is complete. Uh, I might add, I don't know, fuse box. Yeah, it's way too big. Okay, I'm not gonna add this. I'm just gonna have this, like, this mm, wires. Maybe add, like, these guys here. And that's about it. Now, onto the second side. So, yeah, I'm gonna need one more controller, obviously. For this side. But I have no idea how I want to make this, because the engine is pretty darn big. So, how do I want this? How do I want to hide the engine? I could like place it in a corner. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna place it in a corner like this. Yep, like this. And then let me see. How do I want to open it up? Or you know what? I could have it like on something. Let me see, where's my metal thing, metal block, metal block, I could place it like this, oopsie, like this, uh, maybe, huh, wait, if I have it like this and then the, it can open that way, yeah, I think that's gonna be cool, I could have it like here, Actually, no, I'm gonna place the engine here, place the bearing on this side. This thing will not be able to open, this is the maximum. Or I could have it like this. Uh, okay, no, I need a bearing. Uh, no, I think that's, that's gonna be just fine. Like so. Do you know what? Make it like this. Uh, come on, rotate. Nope. There we go. Uh, connect it to this guy. I'm gonna need this. Oopsie, opened. Uh, okay, connect it to this guy. So it has to go positive something. Let's not go 90. Let's go like 75. And attach it to this guy. Uh, okay. Okay, now when I click this, awesome, and when I close it down, yeah, except this thing needs to be like hidden all the time, like this, uh, okay, no, this whole thing is a bad idea, very bad idea, uh, okay, I need to hide the engine somehow, it's going to be way more difficult than I expected, so let me see, I could have it like, like here, a bearing to open it all up. Hmm, let's see, if I have something like, you know what, I'm gonna do the wedges later on. Okay, obviously I need to connect this guy. 
goes positive something. Let's go with 75. Oh, is that like in a way? Yes, it is. Okay. So this is like the maximum we can have. Hmm. That is freaking bad. Ah, that's bad. Ah, that is very, very bad. You know what? I'm obviously not gonna hide the engine. I know. Uh, yeah, that's not a double wall here, but I could like place place this thing like this. Because I do have like this tiny step thing. So I don't know. Let's see how that looks like. Uh, okay, how does it look like? Looks like a prison. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna be the case. What about now? And here's gonna be the wall. Um, and here. I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, not gonna do it like this. Okay, so the engine, the engine. How am I gonna hide the engine? Maybe I'm not gonna hide it. But I, I would really like to do that. I would like to do that. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe, maybe I should make it in the back. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I could like make a double thing. So it opens up here and down there. I don't know. Hmm, what about this? Like here? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna remove the lift because I don't want to accidentally move my thing. So, you know what? And I'm gonna actually end this episode right here, so in the next episode we're gonna make the engine cover. But right now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. So today we kinda did a few tweaks in the cabin I made. And yeah, I think it's pretty darn cool. I'm gonna decorate it a bit more later on. But right now, this is it. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and see you next time.